15 on their helmets in his memory. Mike Fullman receiving for Nebraska in the second quarter. Paul Ettinger, 40-yard punt. Fullman, he sees some daylight. Mike, you don't want to stop till you get enough. How much will it be? First avoid seven tackles, 67 yards in all. 17-0 Nebraska after the point after. Still second quarter, same score. Third and 15 for MSU. Gus Ornstein picked off by Mike Minter, who runs it back 84 yards. 21 Cornhusker points off MSU turnovers on Saturday. Minter's second INT in the game. 24-0 Nebraska. Third quarter, second and 26. Scott Frost, a 35-yard touchdown to Brendan Holbein. First passing TD for Frost, 41-7. Nebraska at that point. Cornhuskers roll. Nebraska win. Tennessee at the new big house. Second quarter, Peyton Manning hits Marcus Nash on the wide receiver screen. And Nash reads his blocks, gets to the outside, up the left sideline. 69-yard reception. That led to a volunteer touchdown. Made it 14-3 Tennessee. Still 14-3 in the second. Manning intercepted by Abdul McCullough, who takes it for 51 yards. Interception return for a touchdown, 14-10 Volunteers. Fourth quarter, 21-13 Tennessee. Terry Fair returns the punt for Tennessee. Cuts up the middle. He sees something. He sees a touchdown. 86-yard punt return. This is special teams. That's why it's so special when you run all that way for a touchdown. 28-13 Tennessee. More Tennessee and more Peyton Manning. Third and two, Manning pump fakes. Goes deep to Joy Kip on the hook and go. 53-yard touchdown for Kent. Kent seven catches for 114 yards, all in the second half as the Vols win from the start. Donovan McNabb would struggle. Syracuse first possession. McNabb rolls left, forces the pass into coverage. He'd go 11 for 31 for 124 yards on the night. Syracuse trailing 17 to seven. Second half, Syracuse blocks a punt, but check out inside the spot shadow, and Orangeman tackles a Tar Heel, negating this touchdown return. They'd settle for a field goal. The orange are red in the face, and nobody's happy about it. Carolina takes advantage. Chris Keldorf hits Freddie Jones, who jukes, moves, and grooves his way into the end zone for the tee down. Carolina upsets the orange 27 to 10, the final. The Juco transfer, Chris Keldorf, comes up big again for the Tar Heels. Pick up the pieces as they visit Illinois. Brad Otten back to pass. Hits Chris Miller, Keyshawn Johnson's cousin, and he can move just like the big cousin. Over the middle, 84-yard touchdown, 7-3 Trojans. Second quarter, same connection, 14-3 USC. Otten scrambles to the left. He lost another deep pass to Miller. Sweet bobbling and sliding grab. They would punch it in for the 24-3 halftime lead. They went on to win humongously, 55-3. A major recovery for the... It's a Pac-10 contender taking on Washington. Fourth quarter, Sun Devils up by 21 when Brock Hewer, Damon's little brother, he's a backup quarterback for Washington, scampers in from the 10, it's 42-28. Next Husky possession, Hewer for Gerald Harris. Money, he's gone. Right into the end zone and suddenly Washington back in it at 42-35. On the ensuing kickoff. Carry Battle runs right and oh he gives up the football and the Huskies recover and oh Snyder sees it slipping away. First and goal from the eighth. Corey Dillon spin move breaks a tackle gets in three TDs in four minutes we're tied at 42. But with seven seconds remaining Robert Nias toe meets leather 38 yards. Oh yeah. 45-42, the Sun Devils pull it out. Jake Plummer, their fine quarterback, 16 of 30, 186 yards and three touchdowns. Ralph, you got to be sound in the kicking game, <laughs> and the Buffaloes aren't. We got some people not tackling. They're playing grab fanny out there, and Branch is gone. 96 yards, 14-7 Colorado State in the first. But the Buffaloes would storm back. They're up 28-17 in the second, and Coy Detmer. Oh, that's beautiful. James Kidd, 41 yards. Detmer, 31 of 42, 364 yards. Couple of TD passes. Gator, 62-14. Louisville and Penn State, 14-0 in the second. Nittany Lions are up. Eric Sturdivan blocks the punt. Shino Prater picks it up, takes it in. 21-0 Penn State at the half. Third quarter, Louisville punting again. And this time, well, it didn't work out so well when they tried to kick it, so they threw it to Mike Bogan. It's a first down. Cardinals would cut the lead to 14, but in the fourth quarter, Louisville punting again. And 
How many times do we have to say this? You have to be sound in the kicking game, and you have to even be sound when you try to fake it. Ryan Miller breaks up that fake. Penn State wins it in the rain 24-7. Here we go. Southern Miss and Alabama, 3-0 Bama in the first quarter. Freddie Kitchens avoids the sack, rolls out, and hits Patrick Havey for the set. Actually, just Patrick Hayes. We'll leave it at that. Seven-yard touchdown, 10-0, tied in. They go on the win, and Reese is happy. Arizona, no Iowa, second quarter, 7-0 Arizona. The Wildcats, Scooter fumbles the ball. Rollins recovers for the touchdown, tied at 7-7 on the ensuing drive. Brady Bates gets nailed. Fumbles the ball. Matt Hughes recovers for Iowa. That would lead to Matt Sherman dropping back. He sees Damon Gibson. 19 yards. We have a touchdown. Iowa goes up 14 to 7 and holds on to win the ball game by one. Of the top 25. Thomas State, Texas Tech. Byron Hansbar, this guy is an ordained minister, and the Cowboys needed some divine intervention to try to stop him. Boy, he's just running right through them. 72 yards, he takes it to the house. 272 yards on the day, 31-3, Red Raiders win it. TCU in Oklahoma, first quarter, Jeff Dover. Upstairs, money. Jason Tucker, 52 yards, 10 nothing. Horned Frog. Now, Pat Sullivan didn't know who he was going to start at quarterback before this game until late in the week, and I think he's found one. Dover to Basil Mitchell, 54 yards. ECU spoils John Blake's debut, 20 to 7. ACC matchup, Georgia Tech, North Carolina State. First quarter, Tremaine Stevens makes a little move. Will break a little arm tackle there. 40 yards, NC State up 7 nothing. But second quarter Joe Hamilton hits CJ Williams and CJ's gonna bang it in he scored three times on the day 28 16 a rambling rip SMU Arkansas 14 10 SMU third quarter Raymond Flanagan hits Dante Womack on a screen and Womack he ain't turning back 34 yards on the touchdown 10 10 SMU they go on to win the ball game Washington State, Temple, 11-14 to go in the fourth. Temple down 31-27, but Temple's Henry Burris goes nine yards on the QB keeper. Owls go up 34-31. Washington State's quarterback, Ryan Lee. He sees Chad Carpenter open. Five-yard TD pass with 136 to go. Cap an 88-yard drive there. Cougars win. Wyoming and Iowa State. Iowa State up with the ball. Four minutes to play. Todd Dotson's pass is deflected by Jeff Leonard. Jay Jenkins makes the INT. Wyoming takes over, down seven, under two to play. Lynn Sexton, three yards, touchdown, extra point, tie the game at 38. We have new rules. Overtime coin toss, Iowa State won. They decide the direction they're gonna go. Clones drive is stalled. The 43-yard field goal hits the post, no good. Wyoming's turn to, on defense. They elect to go for the field goal on third down, 41 yards away. Corey Weedle nails it. Wyoming goes from 18 down in the fourth to win the ball game, 41 to three in OT. I like that new hello. Bayou Bengals down 20 to seven at the half. First play of the second half, Kevin Falk. That's a hole, he's gone. 80 yards, he had 246 yards on the night. Not Charles Alexander, not Dalton Hilliard, not even Art Cantrell had ever rushed for so many yards. LSU within six. Two possessions later, it's Mr. Falk again. Uh-oh. Gives up the leather, and Stedman Foreman will take it to the house. 29 yards, 34-14 Houston. But Falk who just had his suspension lifted because of a, an altercation back in February. The suspension was lifted on Thursday, and boy, is Jerry DiNardo glad he did that. Falk takes it on the dead run, and he never looks back. Shades of Billy Cannon, 78 yards, his third TV of the game, LSU down 13. Late in the fourth quarter, Rondell Mealy, 37 yards. Tigers get 21 in the fourth and win it 35-34.